Hello, hello out there in uh, YouTube land. Today, I have worked out, cleaned the house, done all kinds of crazy stuff, um, and my hair is a little, uh, yeah. So I'm going to uh, try to make it very curly today. I'm going to try, because I'm always trying products, I have a lot of friends in business, and the first thing I'm going to try is Butter Butter Cream by um, natural hair queen and I'm gonna put that in the closure because that as I've told you before is the part of my hair that to me is more like African American whatever you want to call it here <laughs> okay so I'm gonna I guess maybe they call it 4c so I'm gonna try the butter butter cream in there see if I can get it under control a little better and then I am going to use the melanin hair care um, leave in just to give shine and definition to the back yesterday i i soaked it and i used that and i got really really nice curls that i really really kind of liked but you know i figure every day i'll try something different because you know it ain't my hair so <laughs> so i could just be all experimental with it and stuff uh let's get a little bit more water i bought a new water bottle from um, curl mix and I'm real excited for that to come because I think my water bottles are tired sometimes this cover actually comes off as I am spraying the hair which isn't any fun so anyway rambling as usual let's get this a little detangled as always just soak that sucker and um, then brush it out. Use your fingers a little bit. But I just started the ends, and this is my Denman brush. Um, I don't know where I got it from. I bought it years ago when I went natural. Um, and then I just kind of used the sides almost to kind of get in there and get out whatever is tangling. And as you can see, the tangles, look at that, is gone already. Um, there we go so that's one down and one to go and I'm going to I guess I could detangle them first and then put stuff in them it is a holiday today it's Memorial Day I thought about I looked up my hairstylist because it was my first time using her when I got the sew-in um, and my, well, I don't know if I loved the way that it was put in, but I don't really know anything about these things. So I don't know right from wrong, you know, good from bad, all that sort of thing. Anyway, so I, um, I think I'm, I was looking her up and I saw in Style Sheet where she does a two week follow up. Um, I'm in week three, but she does a two week follow up and I, I assume that maybe she glues it back and all that sort of thing, you know, cleans it up, washes your hair, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, my stuff is all raising up. Let me show you. Um, it's raising up on the side and maybe on this side too. And it's really just from the way that I sleep and the fact that I do work out every single day. Um, and I sweat a lot, and so I think that maybe that is causing everything to raise up, as I've mentioned before. So, okay, so as I said, I want to put the butter butter cream only in the front because I don't want it on the actual bundles that are in the back. So I'm going to brush this to the front. And then I won't be able to see you at all. Well, you know what I mean. And I'm just gonna put a little bit. I'm gonna rub it. Hold on, let me take these rings off. I'm gonna rub it so that it turns, see, it's um, just shea butter with coconut oil, I do believe. I'm gonna rub it so it almost turns into oil. And then put it in there from the root to the tip. And 
put some more. I got the lavender, I think, and I am very sensitive to smells. I don't know why. Um, and I think, I like smells, don't get me wrong, I like scents. But um, I think that this one is too strong for me. So next time I think I'll tell her to send me the unscented. Um, or I'll order the unscented, I should say. Let me pre stop pretending that I get crap for free, because I don't. So let's brush that through. And um, for full disclosure, I don't know what this is gonna look like when we're done. I am practicing, experimenting. Like I said, you know, I paid for this hair, uh, but it's not like my real hair, so I can do things to it that maybe I would not do to my real hair, I don't know. I am terrible at making parts, but as you can see, I am, I am trying to make this part happen. I probably should have made the part before I put the cream in. I don't wanna rip the hair. So let's let the brush help us a little bit. How about that? Try to get a cleaner part. This may have been a mistake. It may be too thick, we're, but we're gonna find out. You know, like I always keep saying, we're just experimenting here. We're just trying stuff out. Um, I may just have to use the pure coconut oil on this as opposed to, but we're not gonna do that today. I'll just, if it doesn't work out today, I'm just gonna wash it tomorrow and I try again. That looks like it's going to be real straight, right? Because I probably should have put less. Probably should have just put a little bit as opposed to a lot. Because now I have this very, very straight frontal. And that's okay. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll figure out something to do with it. Um, so let's just wet our back. Brush through. I get the hair really, really wet because it just behaves better if it's really wet. Let me just um, <clears throat> let me just wipe this stuff off my hands so that we start fresh with the. Leave in. Okay. Guess I should open it. Okay, I'm gonna do about that much. It's probably too much, but I'm gonna put it on a big swatch of hair. Bring it all the way to the roots a little bit and then brush through. the bottom a little mm -hmm. I use the brush and my fingers so that I'm not um, pulling the hair out okay those curls are not going to be as defined Yesterday, what I did is I actually left the back of my hair out of the shower cap and just soaked it and then did this, and that made some really nice defined curls. I don't know if we'll get that today. Okay, let's do the other side. Sorry about the biting my tongue thing. It's a bad habit that I have. 
since I was a child and everyone has gotten on my case about it from my mom to my sisters to my husband. They always make fun of me with the whole biting the tongue thing, but you know, <laughs> some of our habits are, they're just habits, right? So I'm gonna put it right that much. And uh, we can't, there's nothing we can do about them. It's just ingrained. We probably don't even notice that it's happening. I'm trying to make sure I have this separate. I'm going to split this in two and do it that way. It is very hard to brush the back of your head. Has anyone noticed that? I mean, I'm sure there's a method. I've never learned it. Um, this uh, brush is very nicely. As you can see, I showed you the brush before and I'm showing it to you now. There's not a whole lot of hair up in there. So as badly as I treat this hair, I'm not getting any shedding, which is nice, right? my hair sheds my own hair sheds so much that this hair is like um you know it's like a ride at disneyland to me i'm just in wonder you know at how it does not shed and um i don't have to i don't have big clumps of shed hair to throw away every day so that's pretty cool and it looks like this butter butter cream might be trying to do something up in here. So that might be kind of nice. I don't know. I'm going to um, I'm going to take a picture. So what I was, I'm going to take a picture after. But what I was trying to do today is that I was trying to, um, because my stuff is all coming up and all that, I was trying to show a style that no one except you would know, right? And if you want to really, um, if you want to really ensure that no one knows, you can always just stick a pin right here or something to kind of hold that down, you know, and then you won't have to be afraid of it blowing or whatever. Uh, so I'm not, I don't know if I'll do that today. I did that yesterday just to keep the hair out of my face, but. Today, I will just leave it as it is. And um, that's the back. I don't know if you can really see. And the front. And uh, it's got a lot of nice swing to it. Anyway, I'll take a picture when it's a little drier. And um, we'll see how it looks, but I think it looks good. I mean, if I were going out somewhere, um, you know, if anyone had invited me to a barbecue today or something, <laughs> then I, I think it would look fine. Maybe I'd put a headband on or something like that. I'm lying. I don't like anything on my head because I get too hot. But there you go. Have a great day. Bye. So yesterday I had put some, uh, uh, what's it called, butter butter cream from Natural Hair Queen into the closure. And today I don't need to really brush it at all. I um, Last night I braided it. You can see on this side where I still have braids. Um, so I'm just going to take the braids out and see what we get. I do plan to fix all this this week. I'm just afraid to clean it up and it, then it comes off and I don't have the glue to put on there. I ordered some from Kafune Amore Hair. She um, has one that uh, has the max hold so that um, basically she has a waterproof one. I needed something that would uh, hold 
based on how much I sweat when I work out and how much I sweat when I sleep and all that kind of stuff. I think all that is causing this to look bad. Plus, I probably was supposed to make that two-week appointment I told you guys about. Um, so, I have another braid around here somewhere. I wish I knew how to cornrow because I would love to do one of those styles. Or even two-strand twist. I didn't learn how to do that either. Um, you know, the kind that lays down. Because um, I would love to do one of those styles that gets the hair off your face. Where you kind of just twist it or cornrow it to the back. That would be kind of cool. I may have to watch a YouTube video or two and um, practice that. Okay, braids are out, just run my fingers through, and uh, do something like that, maybe I'll need to, I don't know, brush it a little bit or something, I don't think I'll brush it today at all. I don't like how this side is doing though, but I'm going to leave it alone. Um, I'm not going anywhere. Maybe I'll pin it back or something. But that's a good way to not have to brush every day. I'm not even going to brush the back. I'm just going to run my fingers through. just leave it like that because it's nice and moisturized still it's not dry or anything just have to figure out what I'm doing to lay this frontal down a little better but yeah that doesn't look bad really it's just the angle made it look bad <laughs> And there you have it. A braid out with some uh, butter buttercream from Natural Hair Queen. All right. Have a good day. Bye.